Good evening, and welcome to The Riffs. Tonight, we'll be taking a look at Bible Man Live. Because it's not enough to insult us with his video series, he has to insult the art of stage plays as well. This is my first attempt at a riff video, so feedback will be more than appreciated. We will, we will rock you. People pay to come see this? Put a bomb under that theater and you'll be rid of everything that's wrong with the world. Neither a tricky or a warzy, or else I'd be offended. Six months have passed since the sudden classified departure of Bible Man's trusted friend, Coates. We'll be replaced by Pants. Prayer. God has blessed Bible Man with another brother in Christ. What does that even mean? In the fight against the devil's evil scheme. Did the devil escape from hell? This when did this happen? Christ is known as Cipher. The guy who betrayed Morpheus? Great! Will he betray Bible Man too? Serious trouble. Eh, he's probably in a better show. And held deep within the fortress of pain and suffering, known as the Fortress of Pain and Suffering. Who wrote this, Captain Obvious? And what's with those sound effects? Is that supposed to be the audience reacting to this? Is this show so dull that the audience didn't react at all, so they had to add those sounds? As usual, the dark forces of evil will shiver and quake with fear. That's right, just tell us everything will be alright. Do not let the show play out so we can see it for ourselves. People who worked on those 1930s and 1940s serials knew better than that. Jesus Christ, Bible Man. Come on, Eunice, there's not much time! They're using lightsabers? Somebody tell Disney! Initialize infrared perimeter scan! Hang on, Cypher! Initializing perimeter scan. Hurry up, Eunice! You'll never find it in the fortress of pain and suffering. Philippians 4.13 says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the seventh and ninth doctor said that humans won't see what's right in front of them. What's your point? Not before I freed you, Willy. If Bible Man has his god on his side, what's he need Eunice for? Do you even know what that means? Did you just describe yourself? Over already? After three minutes? What a ripoff! By the way, is it me or are the adults more enthused than the kids? Yes, pray to the god and the angels whom we won't be seeing in the show, so this is pointless. If your god's with you, what do you need an armor for? Your seizure fuel for the rest of the year, kids. If this show is for kids, then why are only the adults getting into this? I 
I don't mean to interrupt, but since it is a new millennium, we have a new stage set and a new sidekick. May I welcome the kids? <laughs> Go ahead, Eunice. Hi, everyone. I am the Universal Networking Intelligence Computing. Really? And here I was thinking that it was short for unintentional comedic excuse. Are we bored yet? That remains to be seen. God's word is the true source of all power. I wasn't done. <laughs> Sorry, Eunice, but don't you think we ought to introduce the newest member of the Bible Adventure Team? If we must. Eunice, behave yourself. Or as Deuteronomy 21.18 through 21 commands, I'll stone you to death. See? I can quote your Bible too. Sheesh. Considering our little setback. Cypher, the Bible says in Hebrews 13.5 that Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. And Funny, L would be doubt said the same thing about Harvey. To overcome all of the obstacles in our lives. That's true. If you don't let God guide you through your problems, you could cause a whole set of new ones. Is that a That's threat? That's why the Bible says that Jesus is the light of our path. Speaking of paths, how did you end up in a place like the Fortress of Pain and Suffering? Wait, they're still in Captain Obvious's fortress? And how are they talking to Eunice the then? As I feared, a real ass wrote this. I feel like such a loser. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Eunice. At least no one was hurt. And God gets the praise for that. Right I'm guessing your God was in his better moods. You have an incoming teletransmission. Wait, where are they now? Are they still in that fortress? Or are they in their room there? Ah, consistency gives me a headache. Transmission on screen. Stark? How could you stoop this villain? Wait, anyone familiar with Farscape? No? Fine, I'll keep those jokes to a minimum. How did you get this number? It was listed, but that doesn't matter. I was calling to let you Bible fools know that there is a lovely argument going on between two boys five miles east of here. It could become violent. Yeah. Man, you're just trying to create a diversion to lure us away from the cave so that you can break in and tell the audience your evil plan to take over the world. Well, it won't work. So, we'll just stay here and catch him in the act, right? The most sensible thing you'll ever hear in this no, show. You can't. We always do it like this. Uh, you see, Cypher, if we don't leave, then the show is basically over. And, you know, that would be boring, so... More than it already oh, is? You know, Jesus will get him in the end. Oh. Okay. You better get going and stop wasting time with these little brats. It's getting worse. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Furioso. Watch me. A Hispanic guy who doesn't even look Hispanic as a villain. Could this be any more ethnically insensitive? Buckle up, Buttercup. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. Oh, that was supposed to be funny. Better laugh before God smites me. Now I'm guessing the producers pray that nobody in the audience is prone to seizures. Why didn't you just destroy her processor? Oh, yeah, give it to me. Oh, 
Well, given the sheer stupidity you just displayed, I don't blame them for feeling that way. Thank you, thank you, okay. And now for the reason I'm here. There's a reason? I, El Curioso, am about to launch my most catastrophic plan yet. To turn every one of you brats into an angry bone bag of violence. And give in to the hurt and fury inside. Ain't I a stinker? That's Bugs Bunny's line. With all the copyright infringements, I'm surprised this show ran as long as it did. Right, kids? We shall... Is it me or are they saying no? I will find Bible Man myself. Join me, my little troublemaking computer gizmo! I am the link to underhanded computer influences. Or Lucy for short. <laughs> hey, careful with the insults, old Furio, so I'm the one that got you this gig. No, you didn't. Anyway, with the bit of help you provide, I'll be able to pull up enough gold fury to turn these brats into one terrifying, titanic, tempered tantrum of trouble. Nice alliteration. We went from bored to annoyed. Great work, Bible Man. Lucy, initialize digital fungation of the fury bomb Jangmo Link. Initializing digital funky love. Whatever. Lucy, make sure the detonation codes are secure. We don't want our plan to come back and smack us in the... Uh, because the villain wouldn't say bad words. Yes. We just did this last night. I'm in charge and I do all the gags. How is he okay. getting Lucy's help anyway? Has she downloaded herself into Bible Man's computers? If so, then he pretty much succeeded where others failed. He defeated Bible Man. So the show should be over already, right? Right? El Furioso. Ooh, say it again, baby. You're sick. Yes, I am. I don't know if that's the character talking or the writers. Funny how Bible Man himself never has a musical number. So what, dancing and singing is evil? I'm beginning to like this guy. Live in la vida loca, eh? Let's make a joke about them ripping off from a gay guy, but the guy in question wasn't open about it at the time. Plus, I don't know where Bible Man stands on the matter, so it wouldn't be appropriate. But I got nothing, because this is actually a nice song. Hey, I said the song was nice, not the portrayal of Hispanics. Cheek when you live and love you, real sad. Gotta let you 
housewarming gift from the Home Fury Network. <laughs> oh, goodness, you said it, Lucy. <laughs> Dumping my gold fury all over the stage will send these do-gooders into a violent rage. How's that supposed They'll to work? Tearing each other apart. How's that a bad thing? Also, that plan's already a failure because Eunice is gonna warn Bible Man and his goon, right? <laughs> Yes, I'm looking at it. It's something horrible. Beyond words. Like you just woke up and discovered that the Teletubbies gave you pink eye. A kid's joke which the kids don't think is funny. There may be hope yet. By the way, nobody notices the powder on the floor or anything? Tell us! What happened? El Furioso was here. And I can't say it. It's too horrible. Steady. Since when do AIs have a concept of horror? He he did a calypso dance number. Oh yes, dancing yeah. is evil. Let's crucify him. Strength, kids. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. this joke's gone on long yeah. enough, don't you think? Shall I analyze the frequencies and trace the particles of his location? No, Eunice. Funny how Eunice hasn't warned them yet of that anger-inducing powder. I'm guessing she wants to see those two tear each other apart. But I need everyone alert. I need your help too, kids. I got your back, Bible Man. Eunice, please initialize Bible Man Bible for study reference. Initialize Bible Man Bible. 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 Even more behind the times than King James Bible. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13.8 that God's love never fails, and it always conquers. It goes on to say that wh where there are tongues they will be stilled, and where there is knowledge it will pass away, basically telling us never to speak up or to learn anything. Wait, doesn't that make this show redundant? I'm angry that I wasn't able to fight him off. Now that you mention it, I don't feel right. I'm kind of edgy. Maybe we should have gone. Stay out of it, Cypher. You weren't here. That Bible Man, a show so devoid of logic, even the computer can't think logically. Access 1 John 4:21. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. That's right. And sister. <laughs> Only Bible Man can be more misogynist than the book he promotes. Sorry, kids. Eunice. I apologize. I'm sorry too. I guess that villain just gets on my nerves. Again, why hasn't she told him about the powder? Paul Anderson's Three Musketeers makes more sense than this. In your anger, do not sin. And don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. And where, pray tell, does it say that doing the Calypso is a sin? We have to learn not to let it stay with us. Yeah. Anger can keep us from forgiving each other, and eventually, it can hurt us and other people too. Well, that's right. Which is why your god did not flutter war, oh wait he did, did not banish Adam and Eve, oh wait he did, or didn't order all those deaths, your god's a hypocrite! Relationships with friends or family, even with god. Bible man, if you think about it, Uh, I thought you didn't want your audience to think. forgiveness. That's right, Eunice. And forgiveness is what God is all about. I'm sorry, are you here to preach or to fight crime? on the cross for us, as a way for us to be forgiven for everything we've ever done wrong. So go out, rape, kill, and torture as much as you like, because this God will forgive you for it. God is good, isn't he? By those standards, so is Hitler. God always find a way to help us when we struggle with our anger. But sometimes... Because this is what kids want to see, right? A superhero who talks like a priest rather than going out to fight all the wrongdoers. Then again, if his god will forgive everyone for all the wrong they've done, what's the point in stopping them? Did he just render his own existence superfluous? 
That's good, because I don't. You know, Engel almost made him lose his friends and family, right? <laughs> you catch on quick, Cypher. Incoming transmission. You're done preaching? Good, on with the action. Hi, man. Hi, Cypher. Hi, Jordan. Hi, everybody. My old man. You just told me you wanted to speak to me. May I? By all means. Jordan, we were just explaining to the audience how hanging on to your anger... Oops, not spoke too soon. Our lives unhappy. And we thought that since you just went through that, you might share your experience with us. If it'll help someone else, sure. Several years ago, I lost my parents, and I thought I was doing pretty good. But I guess I still had some anger left. The truth is, I didn't understand why God would let that happen. Oh no, so he's becoming angry. a skeptic! Stop him! Me. Why don't we just show it to you? Then why are you even here? Why bother with the exposition when you can just show us? Bible log. Two nine nine one two nine eight. Cute. Good idea, Jordan. Watch how Jesus intervenes even when we are struggling with our deepest fury. Initializing video playback. Where'd they get this footage? In universe, I mean. And who's this woman? I thought he lost his mother. And is this from an episode of the show? Why would kids come to see something they can watch on VHS back home? Also, why is Bible Man even in this kid's room? On second thought, I don't want to know. And he loves you more than you can possibly imagine. If God loves me, then why did... Why did what? Why do my parents have to die? That's a legitimate question, actually. How is it supposed to make this kid feel any better to think that your God is responsible for the death of his parents? I don't have all the answers, George. The most honest thing to have ever come out of your mouth. But I do know that God has a plan for us. Yes, he wants this kid to dress like a bat and fight crime. But 2 Chronicles 5.13 says that God's love endures forever. You forgot to mention that that's just a lyric to a song people were singing in praise of your God. So it's just some character's opinion of him, it's not even factual within the Bible. I'm gonna hurt them back anywhere and everywhere I can. Violence only leads to violence, Jordan. Coming from a guy we just saw in a sword fight. Dies by the sword. What he meant was that violence is a dead end. And what about you? You're always battling something or someone. I'm protecting myself. And those who can't protect themselves, like you. Protect them from what? Individual thoughts? Ephesians 4.26 says, do not sin in your... <sighs> if you really want people not to get angry, your constant preaching isn't helping. Please, don't let your anger get the best of you. You gotta deal with it. Jordan, if we don't deal with our anger, Satan can get a foothold and then toss us around like we were a rag doll. How's that any different from what your God does to people? And it's happened to me as well. All right, I almost forgot this was a live show. I'm just so... I miss him so much. I know. And through Jesus, we can all be together again. Uh, did you just give the kids a good reason to kill himself? I'd like to miss someone too. Give your anger to God, Jordan, and he will give you your happiness back. So he has to buy his own happiness? <laughs> God's a salesman. Okay. All right. If you'll excuse us. Yes, please excuse us for stalking your kids, breaking into your place, and sneaking into the kids' room. Bible man, becoming less and less of a hero every second. doesn't make the hurt go away. I'd tell them not to spell out the moral of the story, but chances are this audience is too stupid to figure it out for themselves. Hey Jordan, thanks. I really appreciate it. Hey, where'd Bobble Man go? He's... he's in the little superhero's room. Oh! Okay. How hard is it to say Here, toilet? Transmission complete. You see kids, we all go through times when we feel angry. Well, that's seven minutes of my life I won't be getting back. Now let's see if there's a plot in this show. On console G three T. It looks like same, but I don't think. Don't touch it, Cipher. It's fury dust. It's a fury bomb, and it's pointed at the audience. I see it. 
Never mind this one and only child who actually believes this, you gotta wonder. Since Eunice knew all this from the start, you'd think she'd have warned these two goons before, but she didn't. She's even worse than Hell 9000 and he was intentionally evil! Nothing my master wouldn't do. Here's a little something to make it interesting. Bible me! Bible me! We've got a serious situation here. We need your help. On my way. What? Yes, why not waste time to let this window appear on the big screen just for this one second message, instead of hurrying out of the little superhero room and into this room? Priority? What's that? You'll never win! Cypher, you're sick rat! A Furioso planted a Fury Bomb pointed towards the kids, and we've only got 45 seconds till it blows! We'll see about that. Kids, pray for us! Cypher, we've gotta try and decode the timer. If it was activated by Lucy, we might be able to hack into her files. Copy that. There's not enough Turing Bible Man. <laughs> what? She might be right. Initializing Bible Man Bible. Isaiah 5417. Sorry, too busy paying attention to the timer to care. Kids, you can help. Repeat the scripture on screen. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Bible Man is coming down to the wire. Come on, kids. You can do it. Say it with me, kids. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. We did it! About 10 seconds overdue, but who's counting? That was too close. How do you guys get used to this? We must keep in mind which side always wins. Yeah, which side are the good guys again? Just another cheesy Charles in charge joke. Says the guy in a purple costume. That's Furioso. Furioso. We finally meet. What do you mean? We rode here in the same car. Huh? Yeah, I know, but it was a classic line and I couldn't resist. A line usually set by the bad guys, but let's not nitpick now. Now I know why George Lucas never sued these guys, because those aren't lightsabers, they're just colored swords, nothing more. I'm not saying this is the best fight ever, but after about 28 minutes of pure boredom, I'll take whatever I can get. That we should rid ourselves of anger. El Furioso, it's time to get rid of you. Come on, let's be bad. I can be the good side. Minus the spandex. Between these two, Furioso actually seems more honest, making him a more likely hero. And do not associate with one easily angry. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> no. Woo! Man! Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Excuse me, uh, Cider? Care to join me? My name is Cypher, and you're a toast, villain. Okay, I'll go. But get ready for the fun stuff. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I don't like the sound of that. But Ephesians 4.3 says make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. So the guy who was just in a fight, which he started, I should add. We're like SpongeBob in square pants. Or toenails and cream cheese. So we don't have to worry. Well, that's right, Eunice. And if we humble ourselves before God, we can learn to praise Him. No uh, why would we want to do that? You know, God does give us power through humility. <laughs> Which would explain why He has very little of it. That's right. Eunice, can you chew it up for me? Yeah. Another dance number? 
Well, this one should be tolerable, Eunice. Here you go, Cypher. Just no ballet. Parents might ask questions. Yes, and you wouldn't want people to ask questions, right? That would require thinking. Aren't those the same dancers who danced with the villain before? Whose side are they on? Listen closely to what I say. Do I have a choice? Private activities, private, please. <laughs> your show's unrealistic, your book, contrary to popular belief, is fiction, and yet you're welcoming us to the real world? You're a walking oxymoron. Thank goodness for that! Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a... Huh, that's the second time I've referenced Queen today! You know, music I could be listening to instead! Now I just figured out why this guy is named Cypher. Because his Matrix namesake felt his fantasy life was more real than his real life. But Cypher was a villain in that movie, you're not supposed to agree with him! Sure, keep telling yourself that the world you and your pal are painting is even remotely real. Who are you trying to kid? Us or yourself? Because this show isn't nearly repetitive enough. Their locations. What? There's more than one? Units, send a red code alert to Bible. Initializing code red alert. Cypher, what's going on? El Furioso activated multiple bombs in the cave. Unis is trying to decode them. Bible man, there's enough gold fury bombs to cover the entire town. Detonation eminent. Uh, why don't you just disarm the bombs? They're not exactly hidden, they're right in front of you. Actually, why am I even telling them the best course of action? Just let those bombs explode. Kids, our greatest defense is not ourselves, but lies in the power of our prayer. Be sure to tell them that on September of the following year. 
oh God, you are the Lord. I wonder, is the God he's praying to really the God of the Bible or the writer of this show? After all, it's the writer who created Bible Man's universe, so. Wait, isn't the actor portraying Bible Man also involved in creating this show? So he's basically humbling down in worship of himself. That tells us much about his state of mind, doesn't it? To cover us all in your love and protection, Lord. For all the good that we do in the real world. Help us to defeat this evil with your goodness and according to your will. Uh, if he's really praying to himself, then... Ew! I don't even want to think about it! Good, they can probably do more than you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Actually, it says formed against you, not me. Are you teaching them to be selfish now? I'm not sure if those kids know or understand what they're saying. I wouldn't be surprised if this is really the reaction to the show ending just edited earlier into the video. Ephesians 6.12 Eunice? My pleasure. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against... And yet you're slaves to the Bible. Realms. Uh, <laughs> okay. That means what to me? It means I'm about two seconds away from replacing you with Scott Baio. Should I care about who that is? There aren't any more surprises. Roger. Yeah. Not bring about the righteous life God Come on, El Furioso, you can win this. Riveting. No, that's obedience. And you should try it sometime. No thanks. I like my way better. How is he supposed to be the bad guy again? Insert your own Rocky Horror joke. Lamb 1 2 says that the Lord takes vengeance on his foes and maintains his wrath against his wrath? But I thought it was wrong to be angry. If it's wrong for us, it should be wrong for your God. On screen, Eunice. Transmission on screen. The Bible man. Check everything out. Everything looks okay. Hold on a minute. Well, that was pointless. Did he just grab hold of that lightsaber? <laughs> I know as a Bible fanatic you basically hate science, but this is really pushing it. Uh, I thought not that. I'm lactose intolerant. Give in to your senseless violence. Trying to hurt someone else never solves anything. Which is why your God didn't kill that kid's parents earlier in the show, right? <laughs> Next time you make a show like this, make up your mind first. What are you doing? I could seriously thrash you. You've got to be kidding. I'm a man in spandex. Do I look like I'm kidding? Was that a rhetorical question, or do you want an honest answer? So what do we need you for? 
and that means you can't touch me. Okay, 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 okay. I'll give you that. But no matter what happens, no matter where you go, every breath you take, uh, what comes next? You leave. Whoa! For what you say? Oh wait, that joke's passé? My mistake. First Thessalonians 5-9. Accessing. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through... That's why he didn't banish us from Per... Oh, forget it. Yeah, that's right. God is good. <laughs> Keep telling yourself he that. sure is. Cypher, prepare for our departure. I'm on it. It's about time. Bible man, why are there angry people in the world? Well, Eunice... There are as many reasons for angry people as there are people. But I suppose that many people are angry because they feel hurt. Some may not feel like they're loved. And some are angry because they feel that life has been unfair to them. And Alan Moore is angry because fiction has become decadent in recent years. Don't believe me? Your own show is proof of that. hurt and disappointment and give hope to those that feel life is unfair. Most no, thank you. If I got to have an imaginary friend, I prefer to be one of my own imaginations. Will anger ever go away for good? Well, I hope so, Eunice. But we have to remember that anger exists because sin exists. And why does sin exist? Used to describe all of the things we do that would not please God. Or go but your God is supposed to be in control of everything, so isn't our decision to sin ultimately His decision? Love one another, because love is of God. Your own Bible would disagree with you. Must make Jesus pretty sad. So how did Jesus react when God killed that kid's parents? But there is a way to be forgiven of all of our sins and start all over again. This is gonna be good. See, if we ask Jesus into our hearts. He can put an end to our hurts and anger and give us... Yes, so lie, steal, kill, or do even worse than all of that combined, as long as you accept Jesus in your heart, it's all a-okay. What another awesome adventure. <laughs> when you have to actually say your adventure's awesome, chances are it was nothing of the sorts. Or at least not in the way you intended it. Eunice, it's time to log off now. If you insist, come home soon, Bible man. I will, Eunice. Great, it's finally over! Oh no, of course it isn't. Bible Man just has to repeat what he's already said a dozen times over in this one show. In the end, what the hell did I just watch anyway? It was basically just a church sermon with costumed idiots. Granted, church would be more entertaining if that's how they brought their sermons, but people go to a superhero show expecting to see a superhero in action. They don't want to experience the boredom of church. Yay, the show's over! We can go home now! By the way, notice how both of these dancers are female, and neither had any lines in the show? So if you're a woman, you have nothing to say. How's Bible Man a hero again?